In this video we're going to cover Neo Geo CD emulation in the PC version of RetroArch. So the Neo Geo CD is a system that I don't own, but I own one game for, so I rely exclusively on emulation to play it. And thanks to the Neo Geo scene, being able to do so is actually relatively easy, as a replacement BIOS is readily available. So in this video we're going to cover Neo Geo CD emulation setup, so you too can play it on your PC. Let's dive in. So to get started with Neo Geo CD emulation on the PC version of RetroArch, you need to install the PC version of RetroArch, whether that is standalone or Steam versions. The Steam version is best to replace the internal files with the standalone version, so both guides available for you. Choose whichever one you want if you haven't gotten it set up already. Links will be in the description below. Next, we are going to need to download the Universe BIOS for Neo Geo CD. So just head to the download section on the Universe BIOS homepage and download the version 3.3 for CD. Link to this will be in the description below. Once you have the Universe BIOS downloaded, just get it extracted. And you should be left with a file named uni-biosCD.rom. So we just need to add this BIOS file to our RetroArch system folder to get us ready to play Neo Geo CD games. So open up your RetroArch folder wherever you installed it. For my demonstration purposes, I had it on the desktop. Find the system folder. Now inside the system folder, we need to make a new folder and name it Neo CD. Now just drag the Universe BIOS into the Neo CD folder and it is all set. Next you need to source some Neo Geo CD games. So I only have one Neo Geo CD game and it is Metal Slug 2. If you happen to have a large physical collection of Neo Geo CD games you can actually dump those using the PC version of RetroArch and I will link to my guide on how to do so in the description below. Otherwise, you can resort to Google and find things that way. I really don't care how you do it, just don't ask me for illegal download links. Now, Neo Geo CD games will typically be in BinQ format, so I ripped Metal Slug 2 using the PC version of RetroArch so you could see it with its Q file and its 20 bin files. If desired, you can convert these games into CHUD format to make them look a little bit prettier, reduce the file size, as well as file counts. So I have a download to help you convert them if desired. But essentially you download the Q to chud file here, extract it, take the bat file in chudman.exe, put them into the game directory, and then run the bat file. And upon completion you'll be left with just a single chud file that you can now use to play the game. And there we go. But once you have your games sourced, you just need to add them to any folder on your hard drive that you desire. So in my RetroArch demonstration folder, I have a games folder. So I'm just going to drag my Neo Geo CD games right in there, and they are now ready to go. So once you have your universe BIOS and games placed, just open up RetroArch, and we are going to download the Neo CD Core. So once RetroArch is finished loading up, head into the online updater, core downloader, press up on your keyboard to go to the S and K section here. And we are looking for SNK Neo Geo CD Neo CD. So press enter to download this. And once that core has been downloaded, you can back out to the main menu and begin loading up your Neo Geo CD content. So one method of doing so is to head to the folder where you have your game stored under load content. Select a game, choose a core, and it should now load up. And with everything in place, you'll be greeted by the Neo Geo CD boot screen. Hooray! Now, chances are when you first load up a Neo Geo CD game, it isn't going to actually work right. We just have to do some configuration within the Universe BIOS to make it work. So if you press the back button on your controller to bring up the Universe BIOS in-game menu. And from here, you can begin changing a few things around. So you can set your region. So if you want to have uncensored games, you can select Japan. But I'm just going to go ahead and select US because I really don't care a whole lot. But we need to change the system from top load to CDZ. Otherwise, it will just never detect our games. And once you have that set, just press the B button or X button or B button on your controller to restart the emulation. Or to save the changes, rather. And now when you go into the main menu, or rather, it'll just boot the game up. So, there we go. Now we can begin enjoying our Neo Geo CD games. Now, to make loading up content easier in the future, you can create a games playlist. So, my favorite method of doing so is to use the desktop menu within RetroArch. So, over here on the main menu, you'll see Show Desktop Menu. 
So you can just click on this or press F5 on your keyboard to load up the desktop menu. Now over on the left in the content browser, just right click, new playlist, type in SNK, space dash space, Neo Geo CD, and press enter. And now you'll have a new SNK Neo Geo CD playlist here on the left. So just right click on the space here, add folder, navigate to the directory where your games are stored, select folder, core, Neo CD, database, SNK Neo Geo CD, press OK, and now all of your games will be listed in the playlist. So one of the great things about the desktop menu, it'll let you know if your universe BIOS is being detected properly. You'll see a nice big green present here for Neo CD unibios.rom. If you're planning on using official Neo Geo CD BIOS files, you can also see if those are being detected as well. They just go inside that same Neo CD folder. But if you want to pretty this playlist up a bit, you could download thumbnails for it by right clicking, download all thumbnails, this playlist. Chances are it might not find them if the games are not named exactly what the database is expecting them to be named as, so it did not find my copy of Metal Slug 2. So what I like to do in these cases is head over to Game Facts, search up the game in question, head to their media section, boxes, and you should find a nice selection of box arts for the game in all of its release history. So I'm looking for Neo Geo CD, US version. I'm just going to save this image to my desktop. Now I'm just going to move RetroArch out of the way real quick. There is my box art for Metal Slug 2. I just need to convert this over to PNG format to work with the desktop menu. So if you need to do this, open up Paint, drag it in, save it as a PNG picture. Don't need to change the file name or anything, just save it as is. There we go. Now go back to your desktop menu, select the game in question, and drag the box art into the box art folder over here. And there we go, my Metal Slug 2 now has a box art. So once you finish making your game's playlist, you can just go ahead and close out of the desktop menu, select RetroArch, press F on your keyboard to make it full screen, and to get your new playlist to show up on the left, just click on Restart RetroArch in the main menu. Now over on the left, we have a new Neo Geo CD playlist entry here with our games included and box art on the right if we added them. And now to play a game, all you need to do is select it and tell it to run. And if you already pre-configured your Neo Geo Universe BIOS, it should just boot right up into the game like it did earlier. And with that, you should now be able to enjoy an overwhelming majority of your Neo Geo CD games library. I'm not sure if there's a lot of compatibility issues with this core or not. I think it's pretty solid and most things should work as intended. But it's a great option for those of us that don't own the system itself, but do own a selection of games to enjoy them. But there are a couple of core options we need to cover when it comes to Neo Geo CD games. There's only one that's really super important, but let's go ahead and cover that real quick. So if you press F1 on your keyboard or the guide button on your controller, you can open up the RetroArt quick menu. From here, navigate down to core options. And our first option is region select. This isn't going to be that useful since we have the universe BIOS and set it in the system itself, but you can manually select a region here as well if desired. Next up, BIOS select. If you have multiple BIOS files in your system folder, you can select which one you want to use here. Next up, CD speed hack. Leave this one on, otherwise you're going to be suffering through a lot of CD loading speeds. And same with the skip CD loading options. So, I mean, leave these both on, otherwise tons of load times. But the option that you will probably be most interested in is the per game saves. The Neo Geo CD had limited internal storage, so you can run out of space quickly if you have it shared, if you have a lot of games. So turn this option on, that way all of your games get their own dedicated save files. And with that, we have covered all of the core options available within the Neo CD core. Told you there were not a lot of them. But one more thing I want to cover real quick before we call this video is the use of shaders. RetroArch shader library is quite extensive and can really make games shine, but you can enable or disable shaders in this menu, and then click on load to begin loading them up as long as you have downloaded them within the online updater. But one of my favorites to use is CRT easy mode, it looks good on native resolution content and upscaled content, so I'm just a big fan of it, but do note there is no such thing as the perfect shader. Shaders are so personal preference what someone likes isn't necessarily going to be what you like. So just go through them and see what you think. But once you've found a shader that you enjoy, just click on the save button within the shaders tab and save them as a core preset so that way every time you load up a Neo Geo CD game that is the shader that will greet you.
But that's going to do it for Neo Geo CD emulation within the PC version of RetroArch. Not too complicated to get set up, and really not much to configure once you do. But as always, thank you so much for watching today's tutorial. I hope it helps you get your emulation projects for Neo Geo CD up and running to your liking. But at the end of the video here, I do have a couple of huge favors to ask. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like or dislike button, just depending on how much you like today's tutorial, as well as that sub and notification bell so you can see when new videos go live on the channel. There's always loads of content coming your way, and I want each and every one of you to come along for the ride. For anyone interested in further helping support the channel and keeping it going, you can check out that join button here on YouTube or the Patreon link in the bottom right hand corner of the screen. A little goes a long way to keeping this place going and bringing all of this content directly to you. Big shout out to all of our current backers, y'all are the truest of champs, amazing, thank you for all of your support. But until next time my wonderful internet peeps, you all stay awesome, keep on gaming, and we'll see you back next video.